Uh, Jonathan's a big United fan. Jonathan, good morning, mate. What did you make of that yesterday? Morning, guys. Hope you're all well. Regular caller. Um, <laughs> good yeah, to see you. Know you. I really, really wasn't surprised or upset with it. I know Keno, I'm not the biggest fan of Pogba, as you know. I think Keno was a bit OTT having a go in for that finish, you know, especially with Sabino coming right across him. Listen, it was a point. I think most Reds were getting very giddy before the game, saying, no, let's go and attack them. But a point's a good point. I still yeah. think it puts both us and Liverpool well behind City because they're hitting their straps. But... Coming back to Mr. Jordan, and again, I seem to come on here every week blowing smoke up his what's it. <laughs> we are not we are not going to win anything with Rashford and Marshall up front. Marshall is not very cooperative, doesn't fancy it. I'm not going to say what I think of Marcus Rashford because at the moment in society he is bomb proof. But for the last year, his efforts and his performances have been way below the mark. Yeah. What he's doing outside of football is absolutely brilliant, but it has taken its toll on his performances. Now, Jonathan, and that's interesting. Is... Danny, what's your take on that? Jonathan, being honest there, United fan, talking about Rashford, of course, we all keep enormous praise on Marcus Rashford. Roy Keane said yesterday on Sky Sports, he didn't turn up. End of. I think more recently he struggled a bit. I don't think it suited him playing down the right. I know he played down the middle yesterday. I I, he, I don't think for a year he's been not at it. He's had some great spells. He's had some really, really uh, productive spells for United in this run they've been on after lockdown. So I think he's been a bit up and down. Yeah, and maybe it is taking its toll with everything going off. I, I concur with the Martial assessment. I, I think too often he, he flatters to deceive. I was surprised Cavani didn't play. I think they always look better when he's on the pitch, giving them a focal point. Um with Rashford down the sides or whoever else, they, you know, they want to, sometimes Pogba plays out wide like he did yesterday. So, yeah, I, I would envisage Manchester United in the summer go, going and getting someone in in the front part of the pitch, you know, a centre forward, because Cavani's a stop gappy, although he's a super player. Yeah. Well, Danny, when I was watching it last night, I was watching Sky, and I was listening to Keane, and, it, and he fairly hammered into Pogba saying he had to score that moment. He absolutely had to score. But, I mean... Is it not a thin divide? And we know it's it, it, Pogba doing everything he possibly can to score. Is that not a bit hard on him? Because Allison's there with a full body blocking him. I mean, he did everything but score. Do you, you what know what he's saying? I think what he's, he's right, really. What he's saying, what Roy Keane's saying is if you want to be one of the best and, and be a talisman for the team and be a super player, you've got to turn up and get the winners in big games and you've got to make things happen. You've got to grab the moments when they come. That was a moment that would yeah. have elevated him to a status with the fans, back back to, you know, it probably would have got him a new deal if he'd have banged that in. You never yeah. know the way football yeah. goes. But, yeah. yeah, no, I make him right. Big players should be, I mean, it's a great chance. You got. I mean, he's hit it well, but a bit more cute and he scores, you know, hits it low in the corner. It's not, yeah. it's not that difficult to finish. Yeah, big, you know, would, would, would Gerard have scored it? Would Lampard have scored it? Yeah. All right.